Guzel Arabic GHSL Gusel IPA SL is an Arabic term referring to the full body ritual purification mandatory before the performance of various rituals and prayers for any adult Muslim after having sexual intercourse ejaculation or completion of the menstrual cycle although wudu or just sleep without either are the lesser stages of purity that is acceptable the washing is also recommended but not required i.e. it is mustahab before Jumu'ah and Eid prayers before entering the Iram in preparation for Hajj, after having lost consciousness and after formally converting. Shia Muslims also perform the ablution before namaz e tawbah prayer of repentance. Guzal is often translated as full ablution, as opposed to the partial ablution of wudu wudu that Muslims perform after lesser impurities such as urination, defecation, breaking wind, deep sleep, and light bleeding. It is a ritual bath. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Types of guzal by purpose. Guzal becomes obligatory for seven causes, and the guzal for each of these different causes has different names. Guzal janabat is guzal performed after sexual intercourse or ejaculation. Guzal Haid is following menstruation. Guzal Istihadad is for irregular bleeding in women. Guzal Nifas is for postpartum bleeding. Guzal Mayit is Guzal performed on a dead Muslim. Guzal Mays Mayit becomes obligatory if one directly touches a dead body. Guzal also becomes obligatory following a vow or oath to perform it. topic water requirements similar to wudu some water is permissible for use for guzal whereas some water is not permissible water sources include rainwater well water spring sea or river water water of melting snow or hail Water of a big tank or pond hoozle is not allowed with unclean or impure water or water extracted from fruit and trees. Topic: The Acts of Guzal. The Quranic mandate for guzal comes in Surah and Nisa. O believers, do not come near to prayer when you are drunk, until you know what you are saying, nor when sexually defiled, unless passing through, until you perform ablutions. If you are ill, or on a journey, or one of you comes from the toilet, or you had intercourse with women, and you do not find water, then use some clean earth and wipe your faces and hands. Quran 442-43 Translated by Tarif Khalidi the phrase translated as intercourse in this verse has been interpreted by Hanafi scholars to mean sexual contact, while Shafi'i scholars interpret it to mean both physical and sexual contact. Hence, the Hanafi school of thought does not require one to take wudu if there is non-sexual contact with a member of the opposite sex, while the Shafi'i school of thought does require wudu before Salah and Saran. Topic: Farid of Guzal. There are three fard obligatory acts. If one of these acts is omitted, it must be returned to and completed before the remaining acts. Near: rinsing the inner mouth, sniffing water and blowing it out. Topic: Sunnah of Guzal. Sunnah optional, practiced by Muhammad according to hadiths acts. Washing both the hands up to the wrists. Wash the private parts and remove dirt or filth from the body. Perform wudu. Water should be poured over the head three times so that it flows all over the body. Pour water on the right shoulder three times. Pour water on the left shoulder three times. In Islam, guzal requires the washing of the full body. There are some differences in details between the Sunni and the Shia schools of thought. <laughs> 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 
Topic: Sunni school of thought. Start by making near intention to perform guzal, say bismillah in the name of Allah and cleanse yourself of impurities. Wash the right hand up to and including the wrist and between the fingers three times, then similarly for the left hand. Wash the private parts and remove dirt or filth from the body. Perform wudu as if for prayer. Ensure that the mouth and nostrils are thoroughly rinsed three times. If sitting on a stool or stone while bathing then the feet should also be washed when performing wudu. But if sitting in a muddy place, feet should not be washed at this stage. Water should be poured over the head three times so that it flows all over the body, ensuring that the roots of hairs and parts not easily reached by water such as the backs of the knees are washed thoroughly. Pour water over both the shoulders three times each. Hands should be passed all over the body when water is poured so that no part of the body is left dry. Move to a clean spot and wash the feet if not washed during wudu. As at the end of wudu, it is recommended to recite the shahada. If, after guzal, one recalls that a certain portion of the body is left dry, it is not necessary to repeat the guzal, but merely wash the dry portion. It is not sufficient to pass a wet hand over the dry place. If one has forgotten to rinse the mouth or the nostrils, these two could be rinsed when recalled after guzal has been performed. The following hadith describes how guzal should be performed by Sunni Muslims. A narration attributed to Aisha bint Abi Bakr reports, when Allah's messenger bathed because of sexual intercourse, he first washed his hands, he then poured water with his right hand on his left hand and washed his private parts. He then performed wudu as is done for prayer. He then took some water and ran his fingers in the roots of his hair. And when he found that it had been properly moistened, he poured three handfuls on his head and then poured water over his body and subsequently washed his feet. Guzal should be made in a place of total privacy. In another hadith, Ibn Abbas stated that Maimuna said that Muhammad was given a towel after Guzal, but he shook off the water instead of rubbing his body with it. In addition, Ibn Abbas recorded the following hadith on the authority of his mother's sister. A narration attributed to Maimuna bint al-Harith reports, I placed water near the Messenger of Allah to take a bath because of sexual intercourse. He washed the palms of his hands twice or thrice and then put his hand in the basin and poured water over his body then struck hand against the earth and rubbed it with force and then performed ablution for the prayer and then poured three handfuls of water on his head and then washed his whole body after which he moved aside from that place and washed his feet, and then I brought a towel so that he may wipe his body, but he returned it. Shia school of thought There are two methods of performing guzal. One is known as guzal tatibi, and the other is known as guzal ertamazi. Guzal tatibi Guzal tatibi means an ordinal bath, performed in three stages. After washing away the najasat e.g., semen or blood from the body and after niat, the body has to be washed in three stages, head down to the neck, then the right side of the body from the shoulder down to the foot, then the left side of the body. Each part should be washed thoroughly in such a way that the water reaches the skin. Special care should be taken while washing the head, the hair should be combed e.g., with your fingers so that water reaches the hair roots. While washing the right side of the body, some part of the left side must be washed too, and vice versa. Guzal Ertamazi Guzal Ertamazi means a bath involving immersion of the whole body in the water. It can only be done in a body of water, e.g., a pool, river, lake, or sea. After washing away the semen or blood from the body and after niat, the whole body should be completely immersed in the water all at once, not gradually. 
One has to make sure that the water reaches all parts of the body, including hair and the skin under it. Guzal Tartibi is preferred over Guzal Ertamazi. Recommendable acts of Guzal What has been mentioned above are the wajib acts of Guzal, there are things which are recommendable mustahab, sunnit, during the Guzal. These recommendable acts are five Gargling three times and washing the nose three times Performing the acts of wudu before the actual washing Wiping the hands on the whole body to ensure that every part has been thoroughly washed. Combing the hair with the fingers to ensure that the water reaches the hair roots. For men, doing istibra urinating before guzal janabat. If a liquid comes out of a man's penis after completing the guzal, and he doubts whether it is semen or urine, he does not need to repeat the guzal as long as he also urinated before the guzal. If he did not urinate before the guzal, then he must repeat the process. This rule of istibra applies only to men. See also Mikveh, the Jewish ritual bath Masoji, the Shinto ritual bath